It's 5 a.m. Ambrose Senior and his son are up early to avoid the police. And the first race in the traveller trotting season will soon be underway. Really the first race out, everyone's just starting bright and early. The horses are keen. And really, we're super keen. If it's a big race, how much money would be riding on it? A big race is like a football match. You don't know because it's all done behind scenes. Are you talking hundreds and thousands, though? It's hundreds, you're talking. About thousands. We're in a recession, we're in England in a recession. No one can afford thousands. Can't take us, we're breaking the law. Yeah. Do you get nervous? Yes. Not nervous, but, but just butterflies in my stomach. And I think if everybody admits the truth, everybody does. I think it's the same as, uh, same as us. I think they've got nerves as well. She's <laughs> grown. Oh, definitely when she hey. comes off here, she looks well. She's grown. Trotting is one of the most popular sports in the travelling community and can attract large crowds of up to 100 people who travel along with the race. This is the best spot. Best spot ever. Obviously. I've got a full can here. <laughs> and today they even have their own commentator known as Billy the Kid. I'm Doncaster's most wanted. <laughs> what happens if the police turn up? Just tell them I'm the daddy. Ambrose's opposition have travelled up from Cambridge for a race that will be run over a two mile stretch of the public highway. The cars will have to do what the best they can, mate. They'll have to get out the road, obviously. It's a gypsy's race and this is the way it goes. The cars will have to make room for the horses because the horses ain't moving over for no cars and we ain't. You got it, no, you got it, you got it now. Where's he at? Let me back in where it was, quick. And his boat's very go, dangerous. Go, 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 go. Get what? Boys, what are you watching Trevor do, lads? Right. Trevor, get up this side here. Get up this side. Get up this side. I think this will be a very, very good race. A very close race. Both very good horses. We are now off. We're racing. Go on, Obey. Go on, Obey. Now, this is what you call racing. At the minute, the other horse is just up behind him. It's a good pony, the other horse. He goes better with it. So far, I hope he's fled the race. How it ends is anybody's call, but at the minute, I'll be fled from where to. And I honestly think we've got the race in the back. Ambrose has led the race from the start. But when a beer can dropped by one of the crowd hits the road, causing his horse to swerve, the race is back on. by Ambrose Deer today. I want Roy Drake for that! <laughs> Come on! I'll treat everybody. There's a bit of expense. Hey, 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 did you find you that? On the what? How was that for you? Oh, good race. Very good race. I've got a few quid and all, that's the main thing. 
Well, go in, you can't arrest you. You and your daddy car's accident whip. The race may be over, but it's the beer can incident that dominates the post-match analysis. Well, yes, me filly did shy at something, but I didn't know what it was. Can of beer. Was that what she shied at? Can of beer. Oh, he nearly called me in the big fool to lose the race. I can, I can remember seeing her shying at something, but I didn't know what it was. It's kind of John Smith's. Oh, John Smith nearly ruled everything. Hey, the police is here. So, down the cafe. Generally, the law says that road racing is illegal due to it endangering not only the racers, but the public. But Ambrose and his fellow travellers see it as a vital tradition. Do you think you're breaking the law? Well, you're not breaking the law, are you? Horses, horses was on the road before vehicles was. What you've got to remember is horses go back for time. <laughs> 